Good evening, I'm Malika Basnet. Let's begin with the death toll of the earthquake. The latest death toll stands at 5,258. The number of injured stands at 1,227. In Sindhupalchok alone, 1,505 people have died. The residents of Sindhupalchok have been left in a lurch after the local authorities were rendered inactive in the aftermath of the earthquake. The chief district officer is missing in action and has been out of contact. Sindhu Bikash Bank Barabisi distributed rice, beaten rice, salt and oil to 1,200 displaced families. The residents of Balifi in Sindhupalchok also obstructed two trucks today that were carrying relief material to the earthquake victims. They said the authorities were dif distributing relief elsewhere while Sindhu Palchok was in dire need. The number, of, the number of people who died in Sindhu Palchok has now reached 1,505. Police says 3,000 people are missing in the district and around 2,000 were injured. Police had said the death toll was likely to rise as the number of missing was unprecedented. Not a single house is left standing in Barabise, Tatopani, Patak Sila, Batase, Selang, Sipapokhara, Jalbire, Maina Pokhari, Helambu, Hagam, Bagam, VDCs. All the houses have been destroyed in Khari Chaur as well. Although some relief operations is on in the area, Khari Chaur still remains without help. 20 bodies were retrieved from Barabisi Church. 30 people are still trapped. In Barabisi Tatopani, Bisti areas, army and armed police have been involved in rescue operation. In Dolakha's Lambagar Lepchi area, many Yasha Gumba collectors have been injured. But due to bad weather, rescue hasn't been possible for the last five days. But the extent of damage is yet, is yet to be ascertained. Korean citizens who had come to attend the 12 years festival in Lepchi have also been caught in the earthquake. In Roll Walling area as well, tourists and Yasha collectors are missing. For the last five days, the district has received no relief or rescue members. At least 55 have died in Dolkha due to the earthquake. In Gorkha, 391 people have died. Relief and rescue operation has been sped up in the area. Three helicopters were deployed in the area. Helicopters airlifted in the, in, the injured from Laprak, Lapu, Uhiya, Gumda, VDCs. The people are being brought to Gorkha head, headquarter. 70% houses in Gorkha district have, have collapsed. In Nuakot, Nepal Army choppers carried out relief work today. Rescue operation was carried out in Salme, Balche, Kauli, Chapa, Likhu, Talakhu, and Gangpedi VDCs. 500 people have been rescued in five, in five days. The residents are in dire need of tents and food. 30,000 families have been affected in the area, but only 2,000 tarpaulins have been distributed. The flood victims of Bardia have collected fun funds to help the earthquake victims. They have saved up to 126,000 rupees through the, disaster, through the District Disaster Relief Fund. The earthquake victims in Kavri are also yet to receive relief. Many people are yet to receive tarpaulin. In at least eight villages in the district, not a single house remains untouched by the disaster. 273 people have already died in Kavri. 40,000 families have been displaced. Meanwhile, noodles, beaten rice and biscuits bought by the government are still being collected at the Central Relief Management Committee. They are being stored in the Food Corporation Godown in Maitigar. The Kantipur Media Group's non-profit organization, Kantipur Foundation, has established Kantipur National Crisis Assistance Trust to support the victims of the deadly earthquake. Interested people can deposit the assistant amount into account number 001-002231CA of Century Bank. The names of people or organizations donating more than 2,000 will be published in Kantipur Daily and the Kathmandu Post or broadcast over Kantipur Television. Similarly, people or organizations donating 200,000 and above will be inducted as partners of the campaign. The amount collected from the donors will be mobilized for the support of victims in the earthquake-affected areas. The government has said that distribution of tent has been the biggest challenge in the ongoing relief operations for the earthquake victims. Government spokesperson Minendra Rijal said that more tents will be arriving from India, 
Thailand and Pakistan tomorrow morning. He said the relief distribution, distribution process would be made more effective and streamlined in the upcoming days, according to the government. 65,000 army, 31,000 police and 17,000 armed police personnel have been deployed in nationwide, nationwide in the relief operations. Life in Kathmandu Valley in general has gradually started returning to normalcy with each passing day since Saturday's deathly earth earthquakes. However, few tremors have been felt in the capital this morning and late in the evening. Many people in the capital have already started returning to their homes, taking caution. However, experts have, have advised not to live in houses that are vulnerable to minor quakes or with weak foundations and cracks. Marketplaces, banks and grocery shops are too are, op are slowly opening up in various places inside the capital. Meanwhile, traffic police has said that nearly 370,000 people have left Kathmandu Valley between 6 a.m. and this afternoon. The Higher Secondary Education Board, HACB, has postponed the Grade 11 board exams until further notice. The exams were further scheduled for 15th of May. According to the board member, Secretary Nara Nirola, the board met at 10, 10 a.m. this morning and arrived at such a decision. Supplies, medicines, rescue teams and millions of dollars are pouring in for Nepal. Many countries have been involving in donating financial aid or sending in personnel to help with rescue and relief operations. But with so many cargo, cargo and civilian planes flying in to help, Kathmandu's tiny airport is struggling to cope under the strain. Some of the countries and organizations that are currently providing aid to Nepal include the UN that has released $15 million for, for, from its Central Emergency Response Fund for earthquake victims in Nepal. The Asian Development Bank, ADB, has con contributed $3 million, $3 million. Japan has decided to provide over $800 million US dollars in emergency grant aid to the earthquake victims in Nepal. Similarly, the government of Japan has decided to dispatch a rescue team and provide the essential materials to Nepal. U.S. has donated a total of $10 million through U.S. Agency for International Development, USAID. Similarly, search and rescue teams have been dispatched to Nepal as part of USAID's disaster assistant response team and 45 tons of supplies have been dispatched. Our neighboring country, India, too, has been heavily involved in the aid operation to Nepal since Saturday, sending 1,000 National Disaster Response Force personnel to help with search and rescue efforts. Likewise, India has deployed 13 aircraft, 6 Mi-17 helicopters, and 2 advanced light helicopters. On Sunday, 10 tons of blankets, 50 tons of water, 22 tons of food items, and 2 tons of medicine were dispatched to Kathmandu. China has sent a 62-member search and rescue team on Sunday and has promised $3.3 million in aid, including emergency shelter, clothing, blankets, and power generators. The UK has agreed to provide $7.6 million in aid, of which slightly more than half will address immediate needs in Nepal, with the, with the rest to be donated to the Red Cross, which is helping re with rescue and recovery efforts in Nepal. An eight-member team of disaster response specialists has been working in Nepal since Sunday. The World Food Programme is also providing food and supplies as well as logistical support on the ground and UNICEF has mobilized two cargo flights carrying 120 tons of humanitarian aid including medical supplies, tents and blankets. That's all from me for now. We'll bring you further more developments. Keep watching Kantipur Television. Good night. Uh,